In this video, we're going to be defining the key terms associated with ventilation by using a spirometer. Here, our volunteer is breathing normally with no excess force. Each peak that you see is representing one inhale, while each trough is representing an exhale. So if on this graph we look at the area that represents tidal volume, of course this fluctuates in reality, but if we do take uh, the top of one peak and the bottom of a trough, this would represent one inhale or one exhale, and the volume of this is referred to as the tidal volume, where no excess force is used. Now here on one of these large peaks our volunteer has taken an extra large inhale and the volume of air that they've inhaled over and above their tidal volume is referred to as the inspiratory reserve volume. In a similar way if after an ordinary exhalation the volunteer continues to exhale to the furthest point possible the additional air exhaled over and above the ordinary tidal volume is referred to the, as the expiratory reserve volume. Now if you consider how much a person can exhale after a maximum inhalation, this volume is referred to as the vital capacity. Now even after a complete maximum exhalation, there's still going to be some air left in the lungs and this is referred to as the residual volume. And finally, we've defined the total lung capacity as the volume of air in the lungs after a maximum inhalation. So this is equivalent to both the vital capacity and the residual volume added together. So by means of review, number one is the tidal volume. Number two, the inspiratory reserve volume. Number three, the expiratory reserve volume. Number four is the vital capacity. Number five, the residual volume. And finally, number six, which is the total lung capacity. Last but not least, you should be able to define the ventilation rate as the number of inhalations or exhalations per minute. If on this graph we mark the minute point at 60 seconds and we count the number of inhalations by placing dots at each of the peaks on the top, you can see the ventilation rate. In this particular case we find there to be 10 inhalations in 60 seconds, so that would be 10 breaths per minute, but always good to take an average because this can vary.